medium sized crocs sliding in from the other side of the van. Woohoo! Woo we got a pair of undies! It's 35 knots today and it's forecast to be between 35 and 40 knots for the next week or so. Yeah, it's pretty horrible out here at the moment, but we are legging it north to try and get away from this wind system. Let's see how we go. We shall slash. So there is no way we are outrunning this weather, unfortunately. We just had a quick look at the forecast and it's up to 40 knots to forecast for the foreseeable future. So we need to find somewhere to bunker down and try and get out of this wind. On the coast here, there, there is a river. We're gonna try and get up. That's really our, our best option, I think, but it's pretty miserable out here in the open. Deep enough for us? Sure, hope so. We're gonna sort of get one crack at this. We don't want to have to turn around. Let's get out of here. We need to get out of here and give this another meter of tide before we're any chance of getting in. After a few attempts, we finally found a safe anchorage. That was hectic, it's five o'clock. Been a long day bouncing around the boat looking for a safe place to anchor. I'm over it, eh? Hopefully this will give us a safe anchorage tonight, Grant. We are keen to get off the boat, stretch the legs, take a walk down this beach and explore this new bay that we've never been to before. This smells like fresh water and it's coming just... I reckon it's coming from below the soil. Yeah, there'd be a freshwater spring in behind here. Have a dig. <laughs> fresh? Yeah, it's fresh water. It's got a bit of a bory, yucky taste, it but it's definitely it. fresh. No way. Looks very, very crocky in there. That looks like a croc track in and a croc track out. There could well be a crocodile in there. This looks like a pretty fresh track in and you'd be surprised how deep that is that's how they best ambush pigs in those kind of areas like that those little swamps i was half expecting a big explosion then but not to be oh look at this little crate it's a perfect shell look it's perfect cool fine any meat in there for dinner <laughs> it's very um, it's pretty light empty, empty. <laughs> that'd be a perfect it? monument one hey Oh, it'd look great at home. Fran's been saying she wants a pet. I just want to put it on the dash of the boat. I think it looks great. It's got piglets. It's got little piglets. Here. It must be hunting. These species of dolphins are very shy. <laughs> Friend, we need to get the drone in the air. That was epic. He just came smashing through this big school of bait fish. Here he is. This is really special, guys. These guys are classified vulnerable in the IUCN and they're very red spot, very shy. Yeah, we feel pretty lucky. I found them. Just one feeding the shallows. It looked like he was running there. So the with his tail, he's like uh, muddying the water up and making like a circle to kind of net the bait fish in. It's a humpback dolphin, right? Yeah. We just put the green light on and see what comes up next to the boat. At the moment, it's just garfish. Whoa, there's so many. No, there's so many garbage. They're jumping around. We're hoping for a squid to come up. What is it? It's a little shark. Oh no. No, that's not what we wanted. 
for the waste of a great garfish bait. Ooh. A little what tip by Mr. Shark. Yeah, mate. Living was... on board tonight. Yeah, on board tonight. It was a pretty tough day all round, to be honest. But days like this make us appreciate the good days when they come so much more. Uh, we're going to get some sleep and hopefully see you guys bright and early in the morning for a better day. Good night. So we're falling here. It looks like it could be a safish anchorage, but in the meantime, we're going for an explore. Yeah, the wind outside is just relentless at the moment. So we've been forced to explore somewhere we've never been before, but that's kind of exciting in itself. So let's go check it out. Oh, he's been in a bit of a battle and someone's taken his claws off. Oh, look at these snags here. Look perfect, even at low tide, there's a little bit of water in here. I'm gonna cast a lure and see if there's anything under there. Yeah. Oh, there's a barramundi. There's three barramundi under this snag here that are taking in turns to have a go at this lure. Oh, he's having, geez, why are they being so, there he is. Woo, oh. Why are they so shy? Might even be more than three. Oh, they're hitting it. Oh, that's a two on one. Hey. <laughs> now that is awesome. There must be a heap of bar under here. I had two on one lure for a minute there. Our first bar friend for the trip. Woohoo! See you mate. Off he goes. Hopefully he goes. Oh, that was a oh. <laughs> I wonder if there's a bigger one there. Just a medium sized croc sliding in from the other side of the bank. That's why we're behind the mangroves. Isn't it crazy how something so big can just subtly disappear below the surface? All right, get ready. I'll try to do it on the surface. Two at once! <laughs> Woohoo! We got a barramundi! Do you see the other one jump as well? Yeah. Is that legal? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not. Too small, but. This is pretty cool. There must be a whole heap under there. See you, mate. Alright, let's try go find a bigger one. Oh, did you hear that boof? I heard that boof underwater. Oh, there's a whole heap of barra here, and as soon as this gold bomber comes over this side of that snag, they ambush it. Ready? Ready for this? All right. Ready? 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 Here he comes. Oh, he just missed it. That's so cool to have a bird's eye view watching it. I don't think there's a bigger one there, though. Oh, look at the school of them. I saw the whole school then. There's maybe 20 barra under this one snack. Oh, amazing. I don't know if I'm going to get a, a bigger one though. These guys are so thick. <laughs> what have you spotted, Fran? Mr. Croft that we just saw slide in the water was previously here behind the mangroves. And then he just walked, walked, walked all the way. He was just sat here camouflaged in the mangroves with a perfect view, watching us muck around on the boat out there. And then when we came too close, he just made his way back down to the water. Hello, Mr. Mudgrove. I can see you there. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> Go get bigger. What the hell is this? Some kind of wreckage here? What would that be? Really got no idea what this is. A pair of tracksuit pants. Hope these didn't belong to anyone when they were lost. Oh geez, makes your mind wander a little bit. That looks like a, a bite mark, but hopefully not. That is a bit scary when you when you look at that. Really hope that's not a crocodile attack. Wonder who these belong to. Back to base camp. Yep, back to base camp. Uh, around the corner there, it is crazy how windy it is. That's where we've come from. 
there's no way we can go offshore at the moment like the waves are standing up so we're going to make the most of it and explore this entire section so who knows what we'll find but we do need to catch some protein uh we went without with yesterday but today we've got to get something No, what happened? There's a very sneaky crocodile that's just been following us as we walk along the bank, kind of just offshore. No and once way. he noticed I spotted him, he's headed out a bit further offshore. He's kind of out in amongst the waves there, but he was right on the shoreline where I like would have gone to cast a lure, eh? No way. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to be proper careful here. Really careful. And we're going to get a better look at the bay we're anchored in by getting to the top of that sand dune. Brown's keen, so we're going to do it. Great jump there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like avalanche as you're going. Ooh. Right out. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> so so windy. Going down is going to be a little bit easier. It was worth coming up because we've spotted this entire mangrove system runs the whole length of the bay so when we get the energy we'll go for a walk up that way Woo! a bit quicker coming down all right we're going for a big walk the objective still is we need to catch some protein today could be a barramundi it could be a mud crab it could be a mud mussel, we're not really sure. Could be that bloody bird if he doesn't get out of the way quick enough. And there is little piglets. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's lots of animal traffic along the beach here. <laughs> Jack actually asked me if I wanted to go for a pig. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that little piglet, all I saw was a little pork sandwich running around, but Graham wants it as a pet. Look at the white sand though, it's beautiful, eh? Very interesting coloured creeks. It's like kind of blood red, that tea tree leaf colour which generally means out the back of these is some bigger swamps doesn't look like there's any food in that one let's head across here follow the pig tracks they're big with this one might have been the guy we saw last night now this is the croc hole if we've ever seen one a big body of water here where he'd be able to just sit and wait for those pigs to come past and nail them so we've got to be really on edge here To the next one. All muddy and too shallow. Let's we might just put the drone in there quickly and just having a bit of a look to see if there's any deeper holes or crocs. There's a bit of a creek out the back here which could be a hot spot for something. Let's go there. It's pretty shallow. Oh muck crab hole. Anyone home? Nothing. Nice one. Him. Oh, the moment of truth. Is it going in? Oh, oh he... looks good. <gasps> oh, wow. yes. Looks perfect. Perfect. I did, was, did not expect that. This is a Nautilus shell and it is pretty rare to find them in such perfect condition. That's amazing. They're normally chipped and stuff. So good. That is awesome, eh? How's this? It's amazing how far these crocodiles travel, what they're willing to do to move spots. This is a croc trap. He's come right up here through the bushes. That's his tail. Let's follow him and see where he went. Right up here. It's kind of fresh. Probably went over there. straight down in there. There's a swamp out the back here. We just found the tiniest little mucker. We need to oh, find something a bit bigger for dinner, but it's pretty cool seeing him. So Such I don't think one, I've eh? ever seen it that little. No, I definitely haven't. So tiny. That's cool. Little male. Oh, you would have been good. Oi, Fran, heaps of barra here. I just missed one. Jack just called me over. I think he found some barras from what it heard. What happened? Boy, there's this tiny little creek behind us there and I just poked my head in. I 
I was looking for a mud crab and then all these barramundi were like underneath the bank and spooked out from in front no of me. Way. And I was like, oh, oh, look through the spear. And I, you missed. I just missed, but we'll come have a look. Right. Hopefully we can catch one. Are they big enough, this one? Yeah, there's a couple that are definitely big enough. Awesome. Oh, no. Alright, we're going in. So like we're too late for this one. I think a croc's got in. Friend, friend, I've got a couple of hits just here. Gravalli, it's a GT. That'd be a nice size to eat. Up you've come, mate. One last cast before sunset, huh? Yeah, go for it. Beautiful sunset. So nice. No luck. This has been a couple of the most challenging days to try and find a camp, actually, with that wind is just relentless. It's proving quite difficult to find somewhere we can get in and camp on the on the bank safely with the the crocodile factor but this looks certainly not our best camp but we're gonna have a little bit of a walk down the beach see if there's anything better we're moving camp oh this can be base camp the reality of this kind of trip is that it's not going to be all smooth sailing and giant fish every single day but we wanted to share with you guys not only the highlights but also some of the challenges involved in doing a trip like this just want to say a massive thank you for being here and watching and fingers crossed there's some sunshine and calm seas not too far away